Good evening and welcome to our next installment of our virtual Dominion Energy Jazz Cafe. We are rolling right along with our holiday radio podcast uh, version of this broadcast. And here in the room with me tonight, we're welcoming Sharon Ray North to the program. Thank Hello. you, Sharon, for being here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And uh, it means that I have the easy job of just getting to be serenaded for a little bit of time. <laughs> and I appreciate you for that. Uh, before we get into our discussion, would you take a moment to tell the audience something about yourself in your own words? Wow. Um, I was born a singer. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone is born something. Um, I believe that your God-given talent was given to you before you even got here. And that was mine. So I am a singer. I do a lot of other things. Um, I have a full-time job and, and all of that. But the thing that I always am is a singer. I love that. And, you know, I have a full-time job, too, and I'm doing it. But I'm a singer myself. Oh. You know, I... I I, does it feel to you, it feels like, feels like magic when I sing. What does it feel like to you? It, it does. It, it feels like magic. It feels like I'm doing what I was always meant to do. It mm -hmm. feels like love. It feels like happiness. It, it feels like all of that. No matter how bad my feet are hurting on a gig, they mm -hmm. don't hurt when I'm singing. Mm -hmm. Now, I might be you know, limping when I walk off stage, mm -hmm. but on stage, everything that's not good falls away. Stage gives us, gives us life, I think. The music, for me, gives me life. Mm -hmm. So you, Sharon, are a singer. You were born a singer, and you have grown as a singer. Can you remember the first time music was evident uh, to you that you were going to be pursuing this as, as a passion of yours? When I was a little girl, I grew up in Youngstown, Ohio, and I would sit on the floor next to my mom and dad's hi-fi. <laughs> so you know we're going back a little bit. <laughs> so we'll go back with you. And I would sit there with my little ear right next to the speaker, because there was a speaker on this end and on that end. Mm -hmm. And I would sit there on the floor for hours listening to Nancy Wilson, Come on. Barbara Streisand. I mean, just hours. Um, my dad loves straight ahead jazz. I'd sit there and I'd listen to King Curtis and the Kingpins. Mm -hmm. And my mom didn't have to do anything with me. I didn't need any kids around as long as I was doing that. And I didn't realize it back then, because I'm three, four years old, five. Um, but I was studying hmm. those voices, you know, of Nancy Wilson and Barbara Streisand and studying those intonations. And, and I didn't realize that until many, many, many years later, you know, when there were Walkmans and things like that. Right. I was doing the exact same thing, only I wasn't sitting on the floor with my head next to the speaker. Right. And I was still studying those voices. And even now, I still listen to music that same way, the mm -hmm. voices. Um, this whole month, I've been off of work, and sometimes it's 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, and I'm sitting there with my Bluetooth earphones and just listening to, to Prince or, mm. you know, listening to the Williams singers mm. doing gospel or listening yes, to Olita Adams. <laughs> I still listen the exact same way and back up. Let you me know, hear that note again. Oh, let me hear that one again. You know, it, it might take me weeks, 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 months to fully finish listening to an entire song. You know, I'm right there with you. I, I, I've said on this program before, I learned to sing because my mother told me to listen, not only to singers, but to instruments. Mm -hmm. And learn how to mimic that horn or that violin. Find the mechanism that gives you that sound or that flexibility. But that education, that listening never does stop, does it? It never stops. And my mom sang, mm -hmm. not professionally, but I remember being out on our patio 
I wasn't even old enough to go to school yet. And my mom would be in the kitchen cooking and windows open, and she'd be singing Over the Rainbow. Oh, wow. And her voice was just gorgeous. You know, so that was another one of my teachers and mentors listening to her. You still get to listen to mom sing? She doesn't sing much anymore. My mom has, it's called familial tremors. Okay. And you remember how Catherine Hepburn's voice used to sound that? Yeah. My, my mom was kind of like that. Now, not quite that bad, but she just doesn't sing anymore be, because of that. So. Yeah, well, have that song in her heart and in yours as well. Mm-hmm. What are, with, with this with the examples of singers and the musicians that you, you collected over this time and the memories of your mother singing, what are some of the songs uh, that you hold most dear? Wow, that's a good question. I would think probably Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Mm-hmm. Um, from listening back then, Barbra Streisand singing People. <sighs> <laughs> you know, those those types of songs. And to be honest with you, last summer, not this COVID-y summer, yes. but last summer I had a show and my mom was there. She she comes to a lot of shows and and she was sitting on the front row and it was just me and piano accompaniment and my mom heard me kind of singing um, Over the Rainbow, and I was just singing it. It wasn't going to be in the show or anything. Mm-hmm. And she said, you should sing that. And I said, okay. So I told, well, I didn't say okay right then. I thought I'd surprise her. So I told the pianist, I said, we're going to do Over the Rainbow. And he said, okay. So I started talking about the song. It It may have been the last song of the evening. I can't remember. And... I looked at my mom sitting there, and I thought to myself, as I'm singing, I told how she sang it when I was little, and I looked at her, and I thought, where did all those years go? Hmm. That I was out on the patio, just a little girl, and now she's sitting in the audience, 80-something years old, and in the middle of the song, I just burst out crying. I mean, I was still singing, but tears were just streaming down my face. I'm thinking, what the heck is going on? And I'm just crying, and my voice is cracking. And I'm thinking about it now, and it makes me want to cry, because it was like, what happened? Because when I was listening to her sing it, she had to be 27, 28, because she was 24 when I was born. Right. And now she's in her 80s and listening to me sing it. I lost it. Just lost it. <laughs> that reminds me, oh my goodness, I, I wasn't even there. and I'm <laughs> shivering over here. It reminds me of last December. Uh, experienced, as everyone does, some death in, in the family. And I was asked to sing at the funeral. Not unusual. And as I was singing, great is thy faithfulness, I looked out and I realized, oh, my mom, mom's not singing. She's sitting in the room. But I'm the one. When did this happen? When did I become the voice? Yeah. You know, that, I, know, I feel that moment that you're describing, seeing your mom in that audience. And it's, yeah. I think that's what's powerful to us both right now. Yeah, it really was. Man, that's, whew. We got <laughs> to keep talking. I got to shake all this off. But you didn't burst out crying. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I, mm, you know, what? we'll talk when, <laughs> once we can just talk. Um, so somewhere over the rainbow, I think we all we all know where that comes from. We all love it, and a lot of the music from that era still strikes me just as beautiful. Moments ago, we were talking about "Smile." What's mm-hmm. important to you about that song? The song, just the fact that it is encouraging mm-hmm. and inspirational. It's like no matter what you're going through smile and that will make it better and a lot of times it does if you can smile through it or if you can find some humor in it or laugh at it you know sometimes that eases the the pain Mm. or the grief even if it's just for a few minutes it it eases it some you know so smile though your heart is aching Mm -hmm. even though it's breaking Mm -hmm. I, i love that i think at the beginning of this pandemic 
in the middle of my own what is going to happen. I got to my keyboard and I just sang that song. Mm -hmm. Well, you told me earlier you're going to sing it tonight. That's all I could think about. And it really wraps up the end of this year and the beginning of the next one, I think, very well for me personally and I hope for, for many other people. Yeah, yeah. You know, especially as we get to live through hearing your presentation of it tonight. Yeah, I, I recorded it a couple months ago for an autism event, a virtual autism event, event in Akron, Ohio, and a local guitarist, Alan Parker, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I recorded it, and it just came out so nice. Yes. Um, we know, beautiful. We know Alan well around here. He's, <laughs> I don't think he's performed on this show, but on our first Friday's Mm -hmm. a series he's performed there. Mm -hmm. a great guy, great friend of the he museum is. and of myself. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love Alan. I've performed with Alan a whole lot of times with Jason Jenkins. Okay, okay. You know, so they're kind of the dastardly duo. <laughs> and um, yeah, we've done a lot of gigs together. I, I, I'd say a lot. I'm finding that Richmond is a town of music and it's a town of art. And the world had got to recognize what we're doing because uh, we're doing something great. You know, I was surprised when I came here because I've been here 12 years and I moved up here after living in Atlanta for a number of years. And, you know, the music scene down there is just ridiculous. Right. So I came to Richmond and I'm like, mm, don't know what to expect. And it's a very nice music scene. I love it. It's a little clickish. Yeah. You know, but yeah. but it's it's a very nice music scene. You know, I'm I'm hoping it's part of my mission to to break some of those clicks up. Mm -hmm. You know, get us all working and loving together. I say on this program, thank you for loving with us and listening to us and learning from us. And I really hope that's that I'm accomplishing those three things yeah. with this broadcast and with musicians like yourself. We spent the past few minutes talking about a lot of other great musicians in Richmond. Mm -hmm. um, but as we wrap up our conversation, what else can we learn about you, about your art, or just about music in general that you can share with our listeners tonight? Music is the great equalizer. Mm. It really knows no colors, no... Mm boundaries mm -hmm. it's just there for everyone and you can listen to music from other countries um, th not this summer but the last couple summers I had an opportunity to perform in France Come with on. tons of musicians from all over the place um, it was a music festival that was put together by Vinks mm -hmm. Um, per percussionist and vocalist, and I went over. Um, Lucy Kilpatrick oh, was love over. Lucy. Yeah, because Lucy and I have done lots of shows yeah. together, but we were both over there, and there were musicians who you could barely understand what they were saying, but that music equalized us all. Mm -hmm. I mean, in in Vinks brought people. When I say from all over. People from Prague, Madagascar, <laughs> everywhere, <laughs> Italy, the United States, you, you name it, they were there. And we were all there for the music. And out of the music, friendships were formed. Right. You know, and relationships were cultivated. And people saying, hey, we got to work together on some stuff, you know people from Mozambique, you know, it was just amazing um, that he pulled that off. So for me, music, it's, it's me, but it's so much bigger than me. It's mm -hmm. just, it's a global entity all to itself, but that everyone can participate in. Yeah. Even if you can't sing or you can't play, you can always listen. You can listen, you can move. You know, yeah, you can, you can move. You know, you have foot. people who are hearing impaired, they feel the vibrations mm -hmm. on the floor and they dance, you know. So, I mean, there's there's just really no limit to it. I love that. Music teaches us how to love. Yes. I believe that. Music Great is, is love. Yeah. It teaches us togetherness. What um, a beautiful thought to leave us so on. You're reminding me of the love we used to experience every Thursday night in this cafe, in this museum, when it was time for jazz. Yeah, People yeah. loving and dancing all, all over the place. I Didn't performed there a are. number of times. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. But you remember that feeling. Yeah. That packed little cafe. Yes. Man, yes. We're going to get there again, folks. We will. 
Yeah. Take a little time, but we'll get there. Keep loving on each other. Mm -hmm. Well, Sharon, I think it's time to hear you sing. Okay. You got a couple tunes for us? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> do you want one that I'm going to do later or something different? Something different. This is one of a, a, a tune that I've always just really loved. I haven't sang it in a while, so I might mess up the words a little bit. But Olita Adams. Oh, yes. You can reach me by railway. You can reach me by trailway. You can reach me on an airplane. You can reach me with your mind. Yes. You can reach me by caravan. Cross the desert like an airman. I don't care how you get here, just Get here if you can. Get here if you can. <laughs> well, we're here for you tonight. <laughs> Let's strike up some musicians. Folks, you've heard the last of me for a while. I'll come back online to, to say our good nights. But from here on, the stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this installment of the Virtual Dominion Energy Jazz Cafe. Also, welcome to 2021. Um, we've all been through a lot, and we're hoping that this year moves a lot easier. But I, I heard a funny joke. Someone said, you think 2020 was bad? Wait till it's 2021 and start drinking. But um bump Anyway, we're going to uh, get started with this evening's show. Um, we have some inspirational songs in here that are just feel-good classics, and we have some songs that, of course, you will recognize. Um, oh, before I forget, I'm Sharon Ray North, and joining me this evening on keys is uh, Mr. Gerard Johnson. Right here in the middle, the legendary Mike Hawkins on acoustic bass, and John Walters over there on drums. So you, got, you guys ready? Okay, let's do this. If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Putting on the Ritz. Different types wear a day coat, pants with stripes and cut away coat, perfect fits. Putting on the Ritz. Dressed up like a million dollar trooper. Trying hard to be like Gary Cooper. Super duper, come let's fix Rockefellers, walk with sticks or umbrellas in Lennox, putting on the Ritz. To go to, why don't you go where well, fashion sits? Putting on the Ritz. Different types wear a day coat, pants with stripes and cut away coat, perfect fits. Putting on the Ritz. Dressed up like a million dollar trooper. Trying hard to look like Gary Cooper. Super duper, come let's mix 
the Rockefellers walk with sticks or umbrellas in their nits, putting on the Ritz, 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 putting on the Ritz. I hope some of you were up dancing with that. Woo, love that song. Got another one for you that you will love. Oh yeah. Hear Gerard's over there playing it? Mm-hmm. Feel free to sing along at home. I might be able to hear you. One, two, one, two, three, four. a thing if it ain't got that swing. Do up, 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 do up. Don't mean a thing. All you gotta do is swing. Do up, 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 do up. It makes no difference if it's sweet or hot. Give it all the rhythm that you've got. Don't mean a thing if it ain't Normally when I do that song, I have the audience participate with me, but I really can't hear you at home. So I can't tell if there were people doing when they should have been whopping and whopping when they should have been doing, but I just assume that you were all doing it just perfectly. Okay. Got a beautiful song that I want to do. I saw a video of it years ago. I think it was Fred Astaire was dancing and and um, it was just lovely. And um, a lot of people have done this song over the years. Beautiful standard. Um, 
Even some contemporary people like Diana Krall have done it, but one of my favorite arrangements of it is by Nat King Cole. So we kind of combined the Nat King Cole and the Diana Krall, and we came up with this arrangement of let's face the music and dance. Actually, the songs that we're doing this evening are all songs that I just I just totally love there are so many just just tons and tons of, of beautiful um, standards and and jazz tunes and too many to even count and there are so many that that I love and I grew up listening to um, my parents records and um, I just pull out different ones from time to time that I really enjoy doing in them. And we do them. This one was written by the phenomenal Cole Porter. Oh, 
simply a shock Is it the good turtle soup Or merely the mock Is it
that song too. Love them all. I'm going to have my, my sister watching this evening. And this is a song that she always asks me to do when she's at shows. And it's a song that I've been singing for many, many years, and I just love it. And <laughs> if you've ever been to a wedding, you've heard it. <laughs> Let me get a quick drink of water. If you're there with the one you love, stand up and dance, hold them tight, hug them real close. Because this is for you.
the dream that I could call my own. I found a You know, at last is a, it's a multidimensional song um, because when there is an at last, that means that there was a lot of stuff before at last that the woman in this song had kissed a bunch of frogs before she got to the prince. You know, so we always think of this as just this, oh, oh. But really, she's also singing about a sorrowful time that brought her to where she is now. There was a journey to get to at last. And when you think about it, a lot of times when you say at last, it's like, whew, at last. And that's what that song is about. So I'm glad she got there finally. <laughs> We've gone through so much in 2020 and in the last number of years. And now we're all looking for, we're looking for a change. We're looking for brighter days. Many of us during this time have lost people, they won't get to the brighter days that we're all hoping to get to. This song, actually the next couple songs are, I put them in because they mean something to me and they'll mean something to you because we can all relate to them. Smile Though your heart is aching Though it may be breaking When there are clouds In the sky You'll get by If you smile Through your tears and sorrow For you, 
light up your face with gladness hide every trace of sadness although a tear maybe ever so near That's the time You must keep on trying Smile What's the use of crying? You'll find that life Is still worthwhile If you just smile Can we try this without me crying? Because <laughs> I know so many people have lost so much. You know, loss of life, loss of jobs, loss of businesses, just, just loss. And during those times, we find it very hard to smile and hard to laugh. I mean, we don't see a real reason to, but life goes on as long as you're living. So I'm gonna do this without crying. Smile Though your heart is aching Smile Though it may be breaking When there are clouds In the sky You'll get by If you smile Through your tears and sorrow Smile And maybe tomorrow You'll See the sun come shining through for you light up your face with gladness high every trace of sadness although a tear may be ever so near that's the time
Smile with your eyes. This is another one. There's a little story behind this one. How I burst out crying on stage. Singing this when my mom's sitting there. But it's a beautiful song. Somewhere 
wake up where the clouds are far behind me. Start me again. Can I do it? I'm sorry. <laughs> Since he can edit that part, we're going to start it.
is snowing, the wind is blowing, but I can weather the storm. Why do I care how much it may storm? I've got my love to keep me warm. I can't remember. Oh, it's December, just watch those icicles fall. Why do I care if icicles fall? I've got my love to keep me warm. Off with my overcoat, off with my gloves. I need no overcoat, I'm burning with love. Heart's on fire. The flame grows higher So I can weather the storm Why do I care how much it may storm? I've got my love, my burning love I've got my love to keep me warm You know, I think for these next couple songs, we, you know, we've all been homebound for so long that I think we need to go on a little trip, okay? We're gonna get on a train, we're gonna ride in a car, but we're going somewhere this evening. And we're gonna go there right now.
train to go to Sugar Hill way up in Harlem. If you if you miss the A train, you'll find you miss the quickest way to Harlem. Oh, hurry, get on now, it's coming. Watch this to those rails of coming. All aboard, get on the A train soon. You will be on Sugar Hill in Harlem. We'll be on Sugar Hill in Harlem. Okay, gonna take another trip. Y'all ready to go? <laughs> this is a long one. Gotta take it by car. Oh, 
crazy Crazy in love am I Crazy in love We have time for just one more song this evening, and it's another feel-good song. We need that a lot right now. So I'm sure you all know it. It's one I grew up listening to, and a lot of other people did too. Um, and this is what we need right now, so spread some love when you can. the only thing that there's just too little of what the world needs now is love sweet love no not just for some but for everyone lord we don't need another mountain there are mountains and hillsides enough to climb there are and rivers enough to cross, enough to last till the end of time. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's just too little love. What the world needs now is love. Not just for some, but for everyone. Lord, we don't need another meadow. There are cornfields and wheat fields enough to grow. There are sunbeams and moonbeams enough to shine. Oh, listen, Lord, if you want to know. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's just too little love. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. No, not just for some, but for everyone. Mr. Mike Hopkins, on drums, Mr. John Walters, and I'm Sharon Ray North, and please continue to support Virtual Dominion Energy Jazz Cafe, and at some point in time, and it will happen, when we're able to all gather together again, make sure you come down and support the Jazz Cafe in person, and continue to support the Richmond Jazz Society as well. Thank you so much this evening, everybody. Love one another.
Sharon, thank you so much. This has been a wonderful evening. Tonight, we ended our year last week. This week, we've started anew. And I'm looking forward to whatever blessings, whatever dew drops, whatever sprinkles I get this year. I've learned to be thankful for what I have, and I'm even more thankful for what I can have coming up. Thank you to Sharon. Thank you guys behind me. Thank you, Richmond Jazz Society. Thank you, Dominion Energy. Thank you, Remember Tommy Productions. And thank you all for loving with us. Thank you for listening to us. And thank you for learning from us. Beginning 2020, from the Leslie Cheek Theater at the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts, this has been our virtual Dominion Energy Jazz Cafe. I'm Robert Fennard. Good night.